What's up, guys? Welcome to VHP Engines. Uh, guess a little bonus video. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's because I'm bored, but I'm not really bored. I just want to talk about this real quick. Um, I've mentioned this a whole bunch of times, yeah, and yet people still have seemed to be a little unknowledgeable about it. Um, so I figured I'd show you directly. And the website's here. Zeal Auto Works. I will leave a link in the description of the video, but just you know, just let you know. This this is one of the things I was talking about. Uh, that you could do do be doing your research on to poke around and see what combinations you can make. I used this a lot back in the day, way before I started doing the YouTube thing. That this in uh, Evans Tuning Dino Database. Let's see right right there. Dino database. That's uh, really good. Um, really good shit. You can find. You can see what other people have done, and the success from it. Um, anyway, this one here. This 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 website is just uh, for compression calculations, and you can actually input the calculations directly because some of these combinations, like um, like the reason why I had HF open just a second ago was I was looking to see if they have the the K20 piston here, but they don't. So you can't just directly input it and get it automatically. But if you know the um, if you know this the exact specs and measurements for the piston, you can input it and see with the other combinations what exactly you'll make. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick uh, B series and uh, and K. Um, okay, so you'll see my combination. I like to always play with this is the uh, uh, is the the GSR right? Well, I think this is. B16, PR3, B16, oh yeah. So this is a preset at B16. And you'll see the B16s, uh, the USDM B16 is 1029, 1029-1, all right? Now, these, these uh, you hear me say PR3 pistons, this is the pistons I like to use the most, just because they're the most common. Uh, P30 pistons are the JDM ones, and I did forget every once in a while that these are the fucking, the more... Or they have a little bit higher compression, so just from changing the piston, same engine, you get a little bump there. See, 10, two, uh, 10 four, nine to 1. Um, so let's, let's swap it up, right? Let's do here. Um, B16. A B18AB block. Crank. Uh, B18AB. Head. We'll do B16 head. We're going to do LSV here. We're going to play with some combinations. LSV. Um, piston is PR4. Rod. B and AB. Three layer head gasket. This is a C998. That's a stock LSV compression with a B16 head. Now, the first thing you, we're going to change here is... To the GSR head. As soon as I find it. Now, you get a nice little compression bump there, 10, uh, 10 1, 8 to 1, right? Just from that, from going to the GSR head. You break out of the nines and you get back to proper dog V tech compression here. Now, throw some PR3s in there. Boom. Big ass fucking compression jump. 12.2. That is, this is a nice, healthy, most likely 200 horsepower with bolt-ons compression right there. Just from the piston swap. And that's an OEM piston. Which is why I preach the Frankenstein shit so much. Because you don't need to get like 14.1 compression Wise Coast for $500 to make that kind of power. Yes, they'll make more power than this will. But this is still breaking into the 200s. Um... I've seen stock LSVs with the with just V with V18 pistons break in the 200s with the proper tuning and bolt-ons. So let's see here. Let's go up a little bit more. If you're wondering why the color is changing in the background, that's just showing like safety limits. Uh, if the compression is too low, it'll be black. If the compression is too high, it'll go red. This is like a um, a hot medium. So 12 see it went to red 12.5. So you can use 12.5. Uh, you can do 12.5. Uh, or with just the JDM B16. Now the B16 pistons are my go-to pistons because they're the most, they're the most, they're the easiest ones to get a hold of. I generally speaking have always at least one set on me at a time. 
Um, let's see. Uh, okay. So let's see. ITR pistons. I know those come up a lot. Uh, you see P73 pistons. Oh shit! It's actually, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, see, it's it's about the same as a as a P30R, but the thing is to use the ITR pistons on like the LS rods. I'm pretty sure you have to modify a little bit, and you can see this right there. It's not really worth the effort. Now, let's, I think PCTs are the highest compression that you can get stock. They're the ones that have the the point like this. They come in the the Type R B16B. Let's see what compression looks like with the ITRs. Fourteen three five. With the ITRs, now um, there's been the hot topic and debate back and forth whether uh, whether you can fucking use PCTs in this setup because the, the compression height might be too high. But I've seen people say that they've used these pistons and had no clearance issues uh, until the day I do it. I wouldn't know for sure, but you could test it and clay it out. Um, I would say that it's probably possible because I know that a lot of the white scope pistons and shit they're designed exactly the way these are and they don't hit obviously um, now as far as this goes if you're going to use this to be a balls out high compression setup uh, you would need E85 to run this uh, the reason why I like um, the PR3's and shit is because with that 12 something compression uh, you know you can still run pump gas and make good power on that you can run 93 with a tune and be good as compared to 14 change where you definitely want to run E85. Uh, it's too high a compression to run pump on. Uh, or at least that's, it's too high for comfort in my sakes. Alright, so that's the LSV. And that's, that's how right there, I would say that's how you squeeze out the most power of your LSV. Uh, B20V, I'm not going to fuck with right now. Um, but let's see, let's do like the, the block that I built, right? The B18... B18A block, B18B block, all right, with um, PR3 pistons in it. Now, let's say you use the B18A head, right? Look at that right there. 11391 with a B18A or B head. That's pretty high compression. Pretty fucking high compression right there for a B18A. Uh, you want to see the difference? I'll show you that real quick. Um, let's see, PR4 pistons, nine six. So just from a piston swap in that block, you're going from nine six to eleven and change. That is a major horsepower bump just from compression alone. So if you were to use, if you were to actually um, put cams on the B18 uh, head with this setup. Uh, uh, I saw a guy on video, YouTube that said he used this uh, setup and made like 170 horsepower with just a piston swap. Um, I, I, I don't, I, you know, I wouldn't know until I actually, actually there built the engine and see it dyno myself. But uh, I think that it's probably possible. I've been seeing, you know, stock V18s uh, put down like 140, close to 150. So with that major compression hike and a good tune of bolt-ons, I can definitely see, you know, I, I definitely think I could, I believe in. 170 volt horsepower and that's pretty good considering it's a very cheap build and it's a uh, non VTEC so um, real quick I'm going to show you the K series because I also did this shit so we understand right block K20 crank K20 uh, head let's see we'll do we'll do K20 uh, A2 head first right piston K20 A2 uh, connecting rod K20 head gas through this K20 all right, so you see it's 11 to 1 compression for a stock K20A2, right? Now we'll switch up a little bit, K20A3 head, or right, let's see. All right, that's recalculated. I'm recalculating that. And if you put a K20A3 head on, the compression is exactly the same. Because the head is the same as far as compression ratios go. It's the differences of the VTEC setup, all right? So K20A3 head, right? And we'll switch the pistons. To K20 uh, A3 as well. 981. So this is a very similar situation to the uh, to the uh, LS B18, and you'll see that um, just from the piston swap alone between the K20 A3 pistons and the K20 uh, A2 pistons, it's an enormous drop in compression, right? Um, 
So, we'll swap it back again real quick. Piston K282. Calculate 11 compression, 11 to 1. So, that block that I built outside is pretty much a K282 block as far as compression goes, as far as how much power the block can produce in A. Now, uh, the reason why I had somebody again DM me, ask me about the block, you know, I want to boost it or not. And I've already said before that the K283 rods are a little on the weak side, a lot on the weak side. So you can't handle the same kind of power levels in a, or can't handle the same kind of power level stock with those rods that the A2 have. That's the difference. If you want to boost stock, the A2 is the way to go over the A3. But if you're going to stay in A and you're looking to make a good NA swap, you can successfully swap an A3 and still make uh, A2 powers. Uh, if, you, if you were to use the head and the pistons, you're definitely going to make the same as the K28-2 can make. Um, if you want to do a super budget and use the K28-3 head, I would still think that this setup could break um, break 200 volt horsepower. And that's because I've seen uh, a full bolt-on K28-3 in tune make like uh, 170. So I'm fairly confident with that big uh, compression, sprite, uh, compression spike that you could make, um, make 200 volt horsepower at least. And uh, a lot of people say, oh, what's the point if you're only going to make 200? But, you know, there's still people out there swapping the K283 in the Civics and shit, you know. So if there's still people out there who are willing to spend the money on a K-swap that's an A3, why not, you know, do that one upgrade and make some more power out of it? All right, well, this is so. This is kind of just a bonus video. This wasn't something I'd really planned on making its own day for. This is just something I wanted to talk about. You know, another way of researching engine building that you can go and play with different ideas and uh, and see what can work and what what doesn't work. Um, also, I guess real quick, I'm gonna show you um, uh, where you at. I lost it. Evans Tuning Database, right? Um, Beagle type Honda. Select engine type. Shit. B series Honda. Select power adders. All motor. Oh, you can't see. All motor nitrous supercharged turbochargers. <laughs> engine management. I usually tend to leave blank because it doesn't matter as much. Octanes. 93 pump. So you see Honda, B-Series, turbocharged, 93 pump. You can also come and put horsepower range and torque range. So we'll just put 350 to uh, 500 and search. And then you see 425 well, horsepower, turbocharged B-Series, Honda, Honda, S300, 93 pump. And you see 425... 275, 20 PSI. This is very, very, very similar to my old B16. Uh, so you click on it. You can see the diamond graph. You can see all the... It's a shit. See? B16. <laughs> um, except for this guy has cams and I didn't. I made more power than him. Oh, but he had a smaller turbo than I did. That's why. Yeah, so I guess the cams made up for the lack of power from the turbo. Uh, let me see. Let's see, and sometimes he'll leave like little tuner notes down below saying, hey, "I think this it can make this much more with this upgrade or whatnot." Anyway, um, you can see like he's got so much shit here, and this is uh, huh? Oh, I must have reset it. Anyway, this this is why I've, you know I made that feature video because this right here helped me to prove a lot of the naysayers wrong when I was on my quest for 500 horsepower uh, which I still haven't reached yet um, but uh, I was fucking rude ass phone cut me off in the middle of my sentence anyway as I was saying uh, people were telling me that it was impossible to make uh, 500 wheel horsepower on stock sleeves and then they were telling me it's impossible to make 500 wheel horsepower on E85 and this was uh, all the information I was dealing with coming from people in, in uh, and fucking El Paso, and this was coming from like tuners and shits, uh, or people who call themselves tuners. <laughs> I was really surprised, uh, and I was determined to find a, a different answer. And poking around on Google, I came across Evans Tuning shit. And um, I know I've already done a feature on Evans Tuning, 
Um, but not a lot of people have paid attention to it, and I, I definitely think that you really guys, you, if you're if you're serious about building engines, uh, you want to soak in as much information as you can. And I think that this Evans Tuning database mixed with Zeal Auto Works and my YouTube channel, uh, that's those are a bunch of very good guides to see just different ideas and things you can play with. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess uh, I'll go ahead and wrap the video up here. I gotta finish uh, editing the other video I just fucking made anyway. So um, if you are new to VHP engines, um, click on VHP engines, go into the channel, <laughs> poke around. You'll see that I have a lot of all my shit organized in the playlist. And see, I got Turbo Talk, all my Turbo shit here. For anybody that has Turbo questions, I have a whole playlist of stuff for Turbos. And then I have uh, engine, build engine building fucking guides. You can go through, check all the engines I've built for the channel. And I have general discussion for tech stuff. You can find a whole bunch of different topics in there. Uh... I even made this little video guide for Facebook part shopping because that's where I get most of my shit. Aside from eBay, or at least where I used to back when I was in a fucking city and before I moved to bumfuck nowhere. And the feature video playlist which I have, which I like to talk about other people's shit. You see, I've been tuning. Uh, I think only 600 views. That's crazy. You guys should be watching this shit, man. This is good stuff. Um, a friend of mine's build, talking about doing the features. I have another friend of mine that's doing some stuff on here, and I'm also giving, I'm going to be giving a shout out here to one of my subscribers, who I found myself, this guy didn't even tell me he had some good shit out there, and I went out and I was poking around and ran across it, and uh, and that's cool stuff, I like to see, you know, I, it's cool to see that some of you guys that are subscribed to me actually have some stuff of your own, some of you guys that are smaller than me, uh, which, you know, I guess a lot of my subscribers don't have their own channels, but um, if you do have your own channel and you would like to give me to take a look at it, um, just give me a holler. I will go over it with you, or not with you, but I mean I'll go over it, and it's gonna be on my own time too. So if you do tell me, hey, I got some videos, would you mind looking at my channel? Uh, I will, but it'll be like one of those random days where I'm like poking around the internet at like three o'clock in the morning. That's when I'll do it. Um, uh, if I've told you that I'm gonna look at it, I will look at it. Please don't rush me. <laughs> And also, just know that if you are, if you're asking for a feature, just because you have content on your channel doesn't necessarily mean that I will give you a shout out. Um, not saying that my small channel is the best thing in the world and that I started off with good content, but I, I'm fairly confident in my ability to make shit now, even though I'm still very small. So, um, if you have something on your channel you want me to talk about, I will get a, take a look at it. And if it's good, like this other guy I'm talking about, I'll talk about it, you know, pretty much right away. Um, and once I have time to really go through and point, you know, to go through the, most of the videos you have. And if if I don't, if like if you're coming up lacking there, I will point it out. And if it's something that you're serious about trying to do with YouTube, I'll give you some pointers and tips to go along with. And if you can handle that constructive criticism, then maybe we can organize and fix up your shit a little bit. And then we can get a feature out once it's something worth talking about. All right, so uh, if you got anything out of the video, um, I appreciate thumbs up, all the thumbs up and comments and all that good shit and interaction on the channel helps this YouTube shit get spread around and helps with channel growth. Um, all my social media shit will be in the links in the description below, and I will also go ahead and drop a link again for Evans Tuning website, and I will leave another link for Zeal Auto Works. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching, thanks for your time, and peace.